Now, welcome to what I am told is a Valentine's Day special. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. I, what? Well, it's what people do, I think. I okay. Some people, perhaps. Some so, some people are people. So I'm I'm kind of told that this is about holiday gift ideas for Valentine's Day or Star Wars gift ideas. I thought ideas. it was funny. There was an article on StarWars.com talking about the their Valentine's Day gift guide for 2023, and I want to know what your opinions are on these things. Would I actually buy them for you, and or would I want them for myself? Maybe make recommendations for other people. Oh, okay. So they know what things in this guide are a good idea and what things maybe I, are not I'm going to guess idea. a lot of these things are going to be a, a hard no out of me, but All we'll right. see. Well, I'm curious what you'll think. So let's get on rolling. First up, <laughs> The Princess and the Scoundrel. Um, uh, I have yet to read it because you basically told me the whole book. I did not. You There's told me a lot of it. Plenty of stuff you don't know. Oh, well, I I mean, if you want to keep up with the canon officially... I think there's like 50 pages that it might be good. Oh, out of what, 350? But would you get this as a gift? I think maybe if you, for? you know, you have a... I, I think it does... Uh, it's a trap, people. Don't do it. Don't get your girlfriend the Princess and the Scoundrel unless she has specifically asked for it. Okay. Well, or she really loves Star Wars books. This is not number one on a guide for generalized people. No, for generalized people, certainly not. Yeah, they didn't say, not. like, no. hey, specifically. No, I, I'm assuming this means, like, hardcore Star Wars fan. Because there's no way you're going to give this to your average, like, yeah, yeah, Star Wars is fine, and they're ever going to read it. No, this was a bad idea to put it number, at, like, their top listing. Yeah. Princess in the Sky, no, don't, don't do it. It's a trap. Next. Princess Leia, canvas pocket tote. Looks kind of cute. It is kind of cute. I think you would like that one. Maybe I that's what so. we should do. Would, would you like this as a gift? <laughs> I'm gonna say you would actually really like this as a gift. I would, as long as as long as the person doesn't own too many totes, you can't really go wrong with it. And this. we'll, we'll play nice. it the other way too. What do you think I would uh, think of this gift? You wouldn't want it. You wouldn't find a use for it. <laughs> I wouldn't find a use for it. No. This I is don't... one of the things you would be like, oh, I have a tote. Even if it was like Luke Skywalker, you'd be like, eh. ah, I'd find a use for it then. No, you already have one tote, and that's all the totes you I probably have a ever tote? need. Yeah. You've got a Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, yeah, one. I do have the Dungeons and Dragons one. Yeah, where I throw all my See? books in there whenever I have to take them across the galaxy. But no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get something like this for you. No, this would not. No. Not unless I literally gave it to you filled with other Star Wars things. There you go. Then you'd be like, oh, okay. In which case, oh, I would okay. think it was just discardable. Like, we'd throw it out afterwards. No, yeah. I wouldn't. It's, it, like I said, it's cute. It's fine. All right, next. Yoda plush dog toy. Oh, dog toys. I thought they were just, like, normal plushies. Because I have no. gotten you a plushie for Valentine's Day, which I think you liked. It was a Stormtrooper. Yes, a this little stormtrooper with a rose. Yep. Some, uh, little Vanta, yep. little has guy. I like him. So, considering we don't but have dog, dog. Considering dogs, people, even if they did have dogs, dog. like if you gave me Star Wars cat toys, I'm like, well, okay, that's great. Are you in love with the cats more than me? Because you got them toys and I got nothing. Well, I'm assuming you might get something else too. But who? I I don't mean to sound weird if if you're one of those people, but I don't get Valentine's Day gifts from my cats. Which is surprising. You love I might your cats. get them a birthday gift. Like yeah. here, look, I got them a new <laughs> that, toy to replace something weird. that they destroyed. Yeah, that's not weird. Or at give all. them a little extra this or that, or a little treaty on no, their birthday. I don't birthday. think there's anything wrong with getting your your cat or dog or your pet a gift. I don't know about like for every holiday. Maybe, like I can like see like Christmas, Christmas or their birthday. birthday. Sure. But I'd be like, oh, it's Halloween. Let me find all these Halloween toys because they're just gonna sit on the floor forever I mean, until the I, animal destroys them. I have known people who throw full on birthday parties for their pets, mm. so I don't find this too weird. Nah, I still wouldn't do it. Yeah, this is a pass enough. for me. Next, we have the Ray Valentine's Day Funko Pop. Um, I'm going to say you would actually not mind this. It's not something you would actually really want, but if I got it for you, assuming there were other things involved. There would have to be other things involved because I wouldn't want this. Really? You like Ray, though. You have Um, a... If it was a Valentine's Day Darth Vader, <laughs> yes, I'd be totally down. <laughs> but just that already, but... I think. I, I don't. But oh, any well, any other one? You. No. It really? would have to literally just be the character I liked, and I would accept it. But any other character, I'd be like, no, thanks. I'm, okay. I don't collect pop vinyls. I think that they're nice. And I think everyone oh, just cool. yeah. owns... I think everyone in the world probably owns at least one probably. of a franchise that they like. But I don't... I don't need a Valentine's Day one. I have a Valentine's Day Harley Quinn. Yes, you do. I think multiples. I have, yeah. What about me? <laughs> I think that answer is. No, you wouldn't want this. Next. The Mandalorian Love is the Way bundle. Huh, I'm going to say you would be not wanting this. I would absolutely love this. Oh my god, really? I think this is really cute. 
Uh, see, I to thought give me a cute to... card that opens uh-huh. up to have a 3D little Grogu baby. Oh, in there. yeah. Okay. Yep. You would because you the like cards card that opens... open. Yep. Yes, I do. I love I these. Failed there. Yep. And look at the, even the little bouquet. It's a little paper bouquet. You can set it sitting out next Valentine's Day. I can put it out again if I want. It's got little Grogu's up okay. in the flowers. I think this is actually really sweet and heartwarming. Plus, you can write a really nice message in the card. Yeah. All right. So this is actually all right. I was kind of wrong. Really, I didn't realize really that was like cute. a pop out card because you, you. It's a pop out card. Yeah, you you enjoy those. Yep, love is the way. I think this is really cute. So. Okay, what about me? Uh, you don't like stuff that's so frilly. Mm, I think you'd be okay with this though. I wouldn't mind it. But I don't think it's your style exactly. No, I I would be appreciative, but. Mm. No, but this is this I would like. This is cute. Next, we have a Valentine's Day sweater, Grogu. Um, I'm going to say a hard no on this one. Thank goodness you got it right. Yep. I do like Grogu. I think Grogu's adorable, but I wouldn't want a Valentine's Day themed Grogu. I would just want a regular one. Yep. Like if they had the same plushie and he was just wearing his potato sack, I'd be like, absolutely, that's a yes for me. But in a Valentine's Day clan of two, (laughs) it's a a pass. I'm sorry. It's a pass. I get it. And me? No. All right. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Next. We have a Padme necklace that looks like the carving Anakin gave to her. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Um, I'm going to say... Oh, this one's tricky. I think you might like this. Hard no. Really? Hard no. Why? Because he murdered her. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm just... If I want a gift like that represents true love, this is not it. Well, I didn't mean it like represented true. I mean, you like jewelry, but it's you're not for a huge, Valentine's Day. You're not a huge jewelry person, though. But you do like it. I mean, mm-hmm. but it's for Valentine's Day. And you like unique kind of jewelry. This this is a pendant of murder. All right, fair enough. <laughs> if you're gonna get jewelry, I'm make learning it mean a lot something. today. All these years, and you know, I'm, I'm still mean, learning. It should mean something as a couple. Okay. Or not mean that I'm going to kill you it at one point if in you time. Don't this support, is a threat. What this means is if you don't support my turn to the dark side, I'm going to have to eliminate you. So <laughs> That's kind of what it means. So that's a hard pass for me. I'm sorry. Right. I have seen a lot of other like little kyber crystals, sterling silver necklaces okay. and okay. pendants. Those I like a lot more. You have more. one. You have like a kyber crystal necklace. All right. What about me? You would probably love this murder necklace. Because <laughs> I like killing younglings? On the back of it, it says Youngling Slayer oh, 9000. Oh, God. No, I, this is not my... <laughs> Necessarily my style either. You don't wear women's jewelry. Well, <laughs> there's that too. I mean, but... Rock Love, which is the company that makes it, they actually do make a lot of really nice Star Wars jewelry. Make sure you know your partner when you're when you're buying Star Wars yeah. jewelry because Rock Love is not cheap either. It's good stuff. I'd imagine. Next, I love you. I know jerseys. <laughs> uh, shop Disney. <laughs> I'm gonna say you wouldn't like these. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'd get you the I love you one. And tell you I got the I know one. And then I wouldn't have bought the I know one for myself. And I would trick you into wearing the I love you one. And then not be wearing it. I know. And it would just be funny for me. But I don't want to buy stuff that I'm never going to wear. That is and a fair point. And stuff that I know you won't wear. Plus it's pretty bland. It is pretty bland. Yeah. For a Valentine's Day suggestion, it's it's gray. Like why couldn't at least the I love yous be different shades of red and pink or something gradiating down? or I don't know. All right, fair enough. Maybe maybe some, some more color on a Valentine's Day suggestion, please, from Shop Disney. All right, look at you. Mm-hmm. Next, we've got the Dark Armor Engagement Ring by Star Wars Fine Jewelry. Wow. It's inspired by Darth Vader's gleaming armor. Huh. I almost think you would like this. <laughs> almost, but I don't think you actually would. No, I, I, I wouldn't. you do have an engagement ring. Yeah. That actually is, uh, that's Th- this happened. Is, this is those things that Star Wars should be, you know, should be careful about putting up on a website. Those, By encouraging th- people to get married? That's a bad thing? No, encouraging people to buy an engagement ring, possibly without consulting your partner. Well, this is something I, that's... I, unless it's a This is something that's kind of so different that or... a lot... Even even if you love Darth Vader, which you do, it's it's one of those things that you might not want an engagement Darth Vader ring. I mean... Right. It's it's just one of those things. Yes. Again, jewelry is something you really have to know a person to buy them. So suggesting jewelry for somebody, like specifically like a Darth Vader ring. Yeah. You really have to know that your person really wants a Darth Vader ring. I agree. I agree. And lastly on the list, the Star Wars Gold Edition playing cards. Huh. You wouldn't want these. I would take these. Oh, come on. You're just saying that now. Well, they may not be very Valentine's-y, but 
uh, as far as the list goes, a nice set of playing cards, you really can't go wrong. But for Valentine's Day, you better get more, more than a set of playing cards. <laughs> nah. This is, now, this is what you're getting. You said you'd be fine with it. What about me? No, nah, you'd take them. Yeah, I'd take them. I you think would. I have a set of Star Wars trading cards or two. Playing cards, yeah, maybe. Yeah, not yeah, trading yeah. cards, playing cards, yeah. Yeah, you know, Dio is the Joker. Ooh. Because mm-hmm. they're kind of C-3PO gold. Yeah, that's kind of what I was... Yeah. Get a Heroes and Villains deck. Yeah, I'd be fine with it. Yeah, be fine. It's, a nice, it's actually kind of a nice gift to give, like, someone who is, like, a friend kind of thing. You I mean, know, like, Star oh, Wars hey, is give you a Valentine's definitely something gift. You can definitely Valentine's Day theme Star Wars. Just don't listen to a list like this. No, I don't think... You should know your partner enough to know what you want to get them, and you if you can even go Star Wars themed... Yeah. So it's such a weird thing to put out a list like this. Honestly. I know that they're just trying to like help yeah, their sponsors to, and stuff make money. Yeah, it's all about that. It's not really but Don't don't do this to a holiday when you have to buy something for somebody else and you're like, Hey, just go off these lists. It's easy. Those gift guide lists are only good when you're giving something to somebody for like Secret Santa, I swear. And even then and even Secret Santa is just a roulette game. You have no idea if you're gonna get that right or not. You Mm-hmm. I love every year you get Star Wars stuff for your Secret Santa you did. And they make mistakes. They do. They know I like books, and they know I like Star Wars. So they, they, they like, spin the roulette gun, and they buy me a Star Wars book, and I have to figure out how yeah. to return it. You brought home Air to the Empire it. a couple of years ago. I remember that. I was yes. like, oh, wow. I, I brought Add home... that to the other version of Air to yeah, the I, Empire. Yeah, I, bring, I brought home uh, duplicates. I'm like, yep. uh, you know I do Star Wars. Yeah. And I read a lot of Star Wars, so maybe don't buy me a Star Wars book. Yep. Unless you've been to my house and seen my collection, don't buy me a Star Wars book. Yes. Yeah, I think that's going to be all we got for you. This is this was a weird list, and I just wanted to do something for Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's fun. I don't think there was a single thing on this list that I would have actually been like, oh, that's great. I'm really happy to get that. I think the card was really cute. Okay. But the You're My Ray of Hope Funko Pop? No. <laughs> You're totally getting that now. No. Please, no. It's happening. Yeah, there were only like two things on the list that I would have been like, oh, okay, that's nice. For shame, StarWars.com. For shame. <laughs> and giving me a holiday gift guide that led to despair. And a murder necklace. <laughs> Not It was given with a good intent at the time. And murder. And she was buried with it, so. And murder. After he killed her. But anyway, that is all we got for you this time. So take to the comments below. Tell us what you think of these gift ideas. Tell us what you think about our fun little video for today. And until next time, thanks for watching.